I am so excited to share the progress of the David and Bonnie Bronner Purdue Veterinary Medical Hospital Complex because the new hospital facilities will include an expanded small animal specialty hospital, an equine hospital, and a separate farm animal hospital, providing excellence in veterinary care for our animal patients, continued quality service to our clients and our referring veterinarians, and a state-of-the-art teaching facility dedicated to educating the next generation of veterinary professionals. The hospital complex will positively impact the health and well-being of animals and people in Indiana and beyond. I am ever grateful for the vision and the support of the University and the State of Indiana to the Brunners and to all of our donors who recognize the impact their generosity will have on the future of our profession, on animal health and animal welfare, and on global health. Well, Indiana has over 22,000 farms producing livestock and poultry products, which is so important to our state economy as well as food safety and security. Our current large animal hospital is combined equine and farm animal with outdated facilities and equipment as well as critical space limitations, including our animal stalls, our treatment areas, and our surgical facilities. But we have extraordinary faculty and staff, and the David and Bonnie Bronner Farm Animal Hospital will be a state-of-the-art facility that complements our team's expertise in delivering the animal health care needs of livestock owners through advanced diagnostic and medical services. Food safety and food security are key to sustaining life and promoting health for both people and animals. We must be vigilant about existing and emergent diseases that threaten our livestock and poultry. Veterinarians play an essential role in keeping our food supply safe and secure, and the new farm animal hospital will be better equipped to serve the needs of livestock owners. This is especially important for the economy of Indiana, which nationally ranks third in egg, third in turkey, and fifth in pork production. Animals are such an important part of our lives. The human-animal bond describes that mutually beneficial relationship between people and animals, a relationship that is important to the health and well-being of both. Our current hospital treats more than 20,000 cases per year, and currently our specialty services are often booked out for several weeks just due to facility capacity issues. Every aspect of the David and Bonnie Bronner Veterinary Medical Hospital Complex has been designed to support the health and the welfare, not only of the animals, but also the people that love and care for them. The new facility will be very client-centric, creating a safe and a comfortable space for our clients and for the animals. Our hospital is also the only full-service, 24-7 emergency service in Tippecanoe County. The expanded small animal emergency clinic with a dedicated entrance supports our team's ability to more efficiently address and attend to our critical patients. The dedicated farm animal and equine emergency services will provide better client access and safer animal care. I'm just so excited that the dream of a state-of-the-art veterinary hospital will soon become reality. We appreciate the support of the state of Indiana, the generosity of the Brunners, our pace setters, and all of our donors. But we still need help. We have a lot yet to do. We need equipment and technology that allows us to deliver state-of-the-art care to our patients. So please contact us for a variety of opportunities to leave your print on the future of veterinary education and excellence in animal care. I'm very excited about the Small Animal Hospital Extension. I'm grateful for the state of Indiana, the Brana family, and all our generous donors to give us the opportunity to expand and think about how we want to take our patient care forward throughout the rest of the 21st century. Not only has this allowed us to rethink veterinary medicine moving forward, but it's also allowed us to rethink and enhance our student learning, both for the DVM, the veterinarian, as well as the veterinary nursing student. The David and Bonnie Brunner Small Animal Hospital will have state-of-the-art nephrology and neurology patient care. We're the only institution in the state of Indiana that currently has hemodialysis. Not only will we continue to have hemodialysis, but we'll have a state-of-the-art suite where we can perform hemodialysis simultaneously on multiple patients. We will also bring forward technologies that are currently in human medicine and bring them to our cat and dog for immune-mediated disease. Another exciting aspect of the Small Animal Hospital Extension is the thought processes that we put into the client experience. 
we wanted to make sure both the client and the patient were as relaxed as possible during their time spent in our small animal hospital. A thoughtful design was created to ensure that the patient is relaxed and as comfortable as possible and the client is as involved as possible during their entire visit. An exciting aspect of the Small Animal Hospital Extension is what we can do to elevate our student learning. We've created spaces for the students where they can focus, have quiet time, and they can learn independently, but we've also created these really unique spaces where we can collaborate as groups and teams and we can talk about and discuss cases in a real-life manner so the students can actually be involved with case management. The other aspects of these unique student learning areas is that they also have the ability to have speakers come in so we have the room and the capability of having state-of-the-art lectures so they know what information that they need to take into their first job. I'm very excited to be part of the David and Bonnie Brunner Small Animal Hospital Complex. The ability to elevate our patient care, our client experience, and our student learning is so important. We have made great strides in making this adventure happen, but there's always the opportunity for more support from our community, from our clients, and from our veterinarians in the state of Indiana. The David and Bonnie Brunner Equine Hospital is really uh, going to be a uh, state-of-the-art facility, especially very exciting to have a separate outpatient center that's really dedicated to seeing uh, those horses coming in for a workup during the day and then going back home. Uh, this will be equipped with uh, three exam rooms and five standing stall and the workflow is designed to make this an uh, efficient uh, way to really improve uh, service in that sense and getting people in and out as smoothly and efficiently as possible. Uh, so that will be one of the big new features of this new hospital. The other aspect that we're very excited about is the intensive care unit. We will have an ICU that will be centrally located in the hospital and this ICU will be equipped with state-of-the-art monitoring equipment, especially we are very excited about the wireless monitoring that will allow us to check the vitals on the patients in that intensive care unit, basically a non-stop 24-7 around the clock. And all this information will be fed into the nursing station that will be centrally located. So essentially with monitors, we'll be able to look at the vitals on those patients continuously. We'll also will have a brand new a neonatal ICU unit in this overall general ICU. And some of the other features uh, will have a reproduction uh, center that will be um, uh, a separate unit uh, with a breeding shed so that will allow us to, to do either live coverage or, or a semen collection uh, for, for horse uh, breeding community. I think that will be very uh, important. And then uh, some of the other um, features I, I would like to mention would be uh, a state-of-the-art imaging center. Uh, for example, we'll have the first in the nation standing CAT scan unit that will allow us to image body parts of horses, legs and head and neck, etc. while standing. So without requiring general anesthesia, which up till now is standard to do this kind of imaging. So these are the main features that will be in this new hospital. The impact of the uh, new hospital on the state economy will be quite large. I think, first of all, it uh, will be located really on the south edge of campus, which will be readily accessible through South River Road, you know, and, and uh, so uh, easy access for horse owners with large trailers. It's always important to uh, be able to get to, um, to campus and, and this hospital in an efficient way and being able to maneuver around and unload and load horses easily. So I think that will be a, a key feature. Uh, the other thing also to, um, to keep in mind is this will be a, a facility designed for really an optimal workflow. So it will reduce wait time for clients and, and, and hopefully make uh, the service you know, more efficient and, and flawless uh, in that sense. Another aspect that will be important for the equine industry in the state of Indiana is uh, this facility, first of all, will have a 40% increased capacity to be able to see more patients and, and efficiently. And I think we need to keep in mind that the equine industry in the state of Indiana represents a uh, $2 billion economic impact, so it's really an important aspect of uh, the Indiana economy. 
So we have a few areas that still uh, remain unfunded and so there are definitely opportunities uh, for uh, potential donors who may be interested. For example, uh, new equipment are still on the wish list for us, uh, such as uh, a new mechanical ventilator for the neonatal full unit uh, for the neonatal ICU. We'll be also uh, looking for a new endoscopy system, a wireless technology that would allow us to uh, be very mobile within the, uh, the hospital to move from you know, one barn to another. Uh, without being tethered to a big tower. So uh, these are some examples of equipment uh, we have on our wish list. Hello, I'm David Brunner. I'm Bonnie Brunner, and this is Hank. We are excited to be part of such an incredible project for the College of Veterinary Medicine and for Purdue University at large. As a proud alumni of the Purdue class of 1979, we encourage you to join us and everyone else who is committed to building this new veterinary complex to further advance the health and wellness of animals and humans. I'd like to thank David and Bonnie for their transformational generosity. This facility is so important to the future of the College of Veterinary Medicine. The new veterinary hospital will provide just a wonderful environment to train the next generation of veterinary professionals. It would allow us to train the best veterinarians and veterinary nurses possible, at the same time providing critical services that will impact in such a positive way animal health. Please join us in supporting the Leave a Print campaign to fund our new veterinary hospital. To your call once more we rally on the modern Never lie.